Hi everyone. Um, today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be one of the few videos where I don't talk about technology. I know, Dan Tech USA, not talking about tech. Blasphemy. You know what? What if the July was yesterday? I'm feeling kind of patriotic. So I want to do a little story time. I was in the Air Force. This is the Airman's coin. You get this. Um, I believe it's week six now. But I got it in week seven. Um, no, sorry. Week eight. Graduation week. Which is now Airman's week. Uh, also, when you graduate basic military training, you get this. A little certificate. Um, in a nutshell, um, it says, congratulations. You're a fucking genius who graduated Air Force. Now, you're actually an airman, and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, look at the date when I graduated. Fucking eight years ago. So what I'm going to do is show you guys a video of how BMT was in 2009. Let's take a look. Trainee Price reports this order. One more time, because they ain't going to be able to hear you. Sir, Trainee Price reports this order. Did everybody hear that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Did everybody hear that? Yes, sir. All right, when you give a reporting statement, make sure you're facing your TI. If your TI is back here and you're facing this direction, he's going to be all up in your nose. Make sure you face your TI. On the count of three, I want to hear everybody give a reporting statement. Cut your hands right there. One, two, three. Once you step up to my computer, you're going to type in the first three letters of your last name. You're going to see your name and you're going to highlight it. You're going to click start. You're obviously male. Click yes. Sir, Sydney, get out. Back, sir, Sydney, get out.
last day on the white line, do not come out of the room. trying to like fight Party against you, huh? Safe, safe, check clear the magazine. Magazine, no, so turn the magazine well, stay clear. clear. Turn it over. No, 16, sir. Look inside the chamber, look for a round. If it's empty, state something. Sir. Stay clear. Clear, sir. Clear, sir. Clear. Turn the weapon yes, over on the side. Slap the pal apart. Point that weapon away from me now. Turn it. Shut the injection port cover. Up. Do not touch anything. Do not touch it. Show me something. Look inside there. Empty, Empty sir. sir. Bring your weapon and cover. Now clear, slap sir. it. No. Say it. Slap it right here. Did I tell you? Put it on you your arm. Right, right side. Slap it. Clark now shut it. Now shut it. Now check clear. Leave the muzzle in the barrel. Show me safe. No, don't touch that. Check Show safe. Safe. All clear, something. sir. Show the chamber clear. All clear, sir. Sling it over the right shoulder. Go. All clear. All clear. Chamber. Right shoulder. Pay attention. He seems happy for that sling. You are yes, sir. Get your finger off that tree. Thank you, sir. Go. Point to it. Show me chamber's clear.
All right, let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Pass it, pass it, pass it. Good. One more to go. Push it out. One more to go. Push it out. One more to go. Push it out. Push it out. Distance for Dalby, but your distance. Many, not the size of the individual. Here eight. One male. One Here male. Good. Go. A activity uh, entering with a M16 training rifle and wouldn't listen to commands. Okay, so he approached your DFP? Yes, sir. All right, next thing. Uh, location approaching the DFC. DFP what? Oh. Number one through six. Give me a number one through six. Two, sir. DFP Who two? Yes, sir. Mabel. Good. Go. You, uh, uniform, ABU, military uniform. ABU. Put your fingers. 
Next, tee time is approximately 1537. Six paces away from my boy. And E. What's E? Put your feet. Security! Sir, trying to start reporting his order. Uh, he is equipment. He is equipment. What do you have? M16 training rifle. You have an M16? Yes, sir. Did you take any action on him? Shot. Did you quit that shit? Shot and killed? Yes, sir. All right, go away. Straight, understand that? Kick with this one, got it? Pull with the left hand, kick with that one, go. Keep the butt out of the air. You like Forrest Gump? Have you gone already? You haven't gone yet? to the middle of the sand pit. You will go down, and then you will high crawl out. Do you understand that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Go. I'm up. Go back. Go back. Go back. Two out of the four did the correct thing. Which hand goes down? Which hand goes no down? Plan, no plan. Plan. You think you can do that next time? Why don't we do it the right way? Or we'll be out here all day. It's hot out here, is it not? Yes, yes sir. sir. Go. I'm go up. back. I'm up. Go back. I'm firing. Go. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Oh. Don't leave your wing. Let's go, female. No, they see me. No, I'm down. No, nothing. No all back down the phone. No, nothing, huh? Nothing at all, right? Oh. Whoa! All the way from the phone. Stop. High crawl out. Let's stop. Let's stop. Why did you roll through here? Now it's roll twice back that way. High crawl out. Go. Do we understand how this works? Yes, sir. What do you say when you get up?
Light on the ground with your heels on the ground. Elbows together. The uniform is actually going to create kind of a, a kind of a lever, if you will, and then you can slide the lever underneath. Don't, you can't let go of the victim though, or she's going to roll back over, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So hold on to her. Help slide the litter back underneath. Grab a hold again and roll back. Like that. Got it? Yes, sir. And then you can fold the arms back down just like that. Understand? Yes, sir. Because you don't want the head dangling over, right? Yes, sir. Does it matter if the legs are dangling over? Yes, sir. No. But think about this for a second. You got the head dangling over. That neck is going to do what? It's going to fall straight back like that, isn't it? It's But if you've got, as long as you've got this head supported, does it matter if the knees dangle down? No, that doesn't matter. Turn left, left, left. Try to move, move. All right, hit it, let's go. Therefore, if I had my group of four, me being right here, I'm going to be in charge. Got it? Yes, sir. Once you're done, throw it down. Three minutes starts now. Throw it down. Done. Go ahead and get it buttoned up. Go get them buttoned up. Get them buttoned up. All right, make, sure we're, make sure we're checking on the victim. I guess you don't care about the victim. You can get your crap all over his neck and face. Then you'll take those two drawstrings on either side of it. You'll pull them out and you'll tie a little bow knot. Dorm chiefs, EM reps, go ahead, get it done now. Word of advice for this also is make sure that you do the coat retention cord first in the back and pull it forward. Don't tie those drawstrings off first. They are the same cord. You pull them out and tie them first, it's gonna be a lot harder to get the coat retention cord between your legs. What you're gonna do, starting at the bottom, is you're gonna roll them up just like a Swiss roll. So you can now go protect this overgarment.
Trini, how do you feel? I feel terrible, sir. My face burns. Oh, everything burns. Everything burns. <coughs> oh, oh. My eyes burn, sir. Face burns. Oh, my eyes. Oh. No weren't kidding about it burn burning. <coughs> Have you experienced pain like that before? No, sir. <coughs> no, sir. So I can't take out the Damn. <coughs> if this is what hell feels like, then I'm going to heaven. <coughs> oh. Two bars in between you and the trainee in front of you. Air. Someone is, supposed, is uh, so unlucky to fall into the water, you are going to wait and hang there until they get out. Understand? Yes, sir. 
once they get out, you're going to continue. Two hands on each bar. You understand? Yes, sir. Two hands on how many bars? Each bar. We ain't the Bulldogs. We ain't the Bulldogs. We ain't the Bulldogs. We ain't the Bulldogs. Who's in the house? Bulldogs. Who's in the house? Bulldogs. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bulldogs. Hell yeah. Bulldogs. Hell yeah. Take a little trip. Forty-seven and we to take a little trip. Second nine, go get some. Second nine, go get some. Obviously you can't do it. Get out. Don't walk underneath him before you kick you in the head. What do you think? Good job, Butler.
buddy. You do not look at anybody else. You just do it and go back. The weapon stays here. You and the magazine go back. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do not rush. You rush, you're only messing it up for yourself. Okay? Yes, There's no time limit right now. You got it? Yes, sir. Everybody see that? Yes, for those who still don't know what I'm talking about, this is what you're shooting at, this bottom zero target, okay? Don't shoot at your buddies, don't shoot at the number. Hey. Shoot at this target I'm above your number. That he stole his dog. He, he, he loves his dog. And so what is, what is he gonna do? He's gonna kill him for it. Except not actually. <laughs> He's gonna pugil stick him. Yeah, he is. He's gonna what? Pugil stick, stick, stick him. him. <laughs> you guys been out here beast? Oh, this is our since Monday. Yeah, since Monday. Since really? Yes, sir. How is it? How do you like it? I don't think it's that bad, just the heat sometimes. All the sweat. All the heat.
tomorrow you'll have your test or what? Yes, yes we have our evaluation. 6 to 12. Going for beast excellence. Beast excellence. All right. You hope to accomplish that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll fly three. to you guys. 443, four, four, three, sir. Three, sir. All right. How long y'all been on it? Uh, three days, sir. Three days. All right. Yeah, two more left. How is it? How has it been so far? It's been, it's been stressful. Challenging. Today was probably the hardest day. Experience. Good experience? Yes, sir. What do you hope to get? Beast excellence? Yes, sir. Make sure nobody enters the camp without authorization. Uh, on guard duty. Yes, sir. Guard patrol. Yes, sir. You're all at right now. Red. Red alarm black mob zero. It's it. very challenging. Wearing all this gear, 60 pounds, it's good for us though. Really? In the heat? What's the worst part about it? Uh, the gear. Your back hurts, you know, after wearing it for about an hour, hour and a half. But Really? You all wear it all day? Yeah. Yeah, well, after 1600, we get it, after dinner, we get to take it off and then we do drills without it. But we're going to need it for Thursday. It's going to be all be worth it Thursday. What's Thursday? Uh, that's when we get evaluated. What do you hope to accomplish on Thursday? We're gonna bring home that beast streamer. Uh, beast excellence? Beast excellence, yes sir. Uh, right now we're a uh, cordon team, and uh, basically we're just securing the UXO. Mm -hmm. um, waiting for, go back to green, lime green. It's not too bad, it's, these vests get really heavy. Mm -hmm. Other than these vests, um, it's really hot. I think the, the hardest part is probably uh, wearing this, this, this gear that we have on right now, it's bulletproof vest and the helmet. All the weight. Yeah, it's got a lot of weight to it, but I, th I thought the second most challenging thing was going up the hill. Um, we had to do a high crawl um, in the tactical course, going through sand. It's about 60 yards. It's pretty hard. Really? So, with yeah. all your gear on? Uh, actually, we just went up with our helmet. That's bad enough? Yeah. So. And then factor in the heat? Yeah, that too. Uh, all the sweat, <laughs> all the dirt. It's pretty crazy. Today we did the tack course. That was pretty fun. Besides the high, or the, the high crawl mm -hmm. up the up the hill, that was kind of that was kind of brutal. Hope to accomplish uh, experience, war experience. Mm -hmm. You know, if we get deployed, 
maybe we got some uh, basic skills to use out in the field. I want to learn how to get ready for combat because I'm security forces mm -hmm. and I will probably see combat. So I want to be make sure I'm ready, make sure I know how to do everything so you know, I won't fall under pressure. Oh yeah, definitely. We won't be sexless. Our zone's not going to go home without it. Be sexless is huge. Our beast monitor is, he's just so crazy about beasts right now that if we don't get beast sexless, man, I feel like I'm going to fail him. I want it for him and I want it for my, my instructor staff, Sergeant Towns. A lot. Green Mob Zero. What does that mean? It means uh, they are secure. And so you're good to go. Yes, sir.